After two years riding my Harley Softail, it was time. <laughs> I have a Harley Davidson Softail, and I love it. But to be honest, its ride just hasn't been what I've hoped it would be from either a performance or a comfort standpoint. So after two years, I've decided to step things up with a brand new Legend suspension. In the front, we're going to go from this to this. And in the rear, we're going to go from this to this. So let's get to it. I hope you enjoy the video. With the bike up on the jack and the rear wheel suspended, take a tape measure and measure from the top of the left rear axle nut to a predetermined point on your rear fender, and then record the measurement. Then remove the jack, lower the bike to the ground, and have the rider get on the bike with his feet on the pegs or floorboards so that all of his weight is resting on the bike. Then retake the same measurement you took earlier. 
The difference between these two measurements, or the amount of sag, should be between 3 quarters and 1 and a quarter inches. A sag of 3 quarters of an inch will give you more performance and road feel, and a sag of 1 and a quarter inches will give you a more plush ride. I opted for 1 inch of sag, which should give me a nice combination of the two. Now if your measurement difference, or sag, ends up being more than you'd like, simply decrease the sag by tightening the 7 8 inch preload nuts on both shocks. If your measured difference is too small, you'll want to increase the sag by backing off both nuts. Now once your sag is set, you'll want to adjust your rebound by setting the adjustment knobs on both rear shocks. To do this, simply locate table A in your installation guide. Add up the estimated weights of you, a passenger if you have one, any gear you might have, and your luggage. Then according to the guidelines in table A, set each knob accordingly. This should literally take you about 30 seconds. And if for some reason you don't have an installation guide, I'll put a link to it below the video.
The amount of preload is based on how many times you tighten or turn the preload adjuster. Just follow the preload setting chart in your installation guide. But be careful when choosing your setting, because once it's set, it'll be a hell of a job getting to those preload adjusters to change things. There we go.
BRAD's Customs of San Antonio actually did the install. They do awesome work at a great price and they're super easy to deal with. And I'm going to leave their contact information below just in case you're ever in the San Antonio area and need some work done. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this kind of thing in general, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. According to legend, it ought to take about 500 miles to break the suspension in. So be on the lookout for my review video coming soon. And until then, this is Trip on Two Wheels asking you to ride safe and ride often.